In this video, I'm showing you some of my painting process in the final stages of this abstract head. Come with me, I want to take you on the road to releasing your creativity and give you tools to express your inner self. In future videos, there'll be tips and tutorials exploring different types of painting, assemblage and mixed media, plus lots on tools and processes and caring for your tools and things. To help you on the journey, subscribe to this channel. Back to this video, I'm new at all this, playing with toys, having a lot of fun, learning to show my process. Oh, and so it gets a bit crazy towards the end, a bit exciting. Look out for some real mess ups, funny, jerky head movements and stupid stuff. Um, really not, not in, you know, haven't mastered this time lapse thing or any of it. And there's a bit of split screen silliness too, but uh, hope it's enjoyable for you. Hello, and you're very welcome to my studio, which is a place of fun and relaxation. Um, it's important to enjoy what you do. And uh, I get a lot of fun in here. Um, so uh, come on, join in. I'm just working on something here. I'm just messing away the way I do. This is my typical way of working. It's not like, uh, you know, I, I come in really early in the morning and work for eight hours solid at this. I haven't done that for a while. But uh, when I do, I'm in the right frame of mind, generally. And I can do with a bit of chill, chill out and experiment. You know, sometimes it gets a lot more intense than that. I'll have to have to say it's it's not always, but it's sometimes it's it's. Oh, you know, when things really kick off and get going, it's it's maybe not that relaxed, but in, it's it's uh, you know exciting and intense in a good way. Very often, you know, obviously it doesn't always go as well as you'd like, you know, there's, it's, there's certain paintings, certain paintings are great to do and the other ones are a struggle and other ones you just, me, I just keep coming back to them um, over long periods of time and uh, a lot of them, a lot of them then, you know, work out in the end, but uh, as to, as to uh, knowing where they're going, no. So just, just uh, relax here and I'm starting off with a brush here, cleaning up around the edges and uh, tidying up really. I've got a palette knife, I'm spreading a little paint flattening it and smoothing it and now I've got a pen knife and I'm scraping off some bits there's some nice kind of scraped off marks uh, abrasions on this piece you know tex textures that I kind of like and then I'm back with the brush um, spotting on there
I was talking about uh, relaxation, joy and fulfillment. Um, in order to achieve those things that we want, you know, we all want to be happy, we all want to feel joy. It is necessary to be relaxed. You know, we can't do it when we're in a state of anxiety or fear, I don't think. Um, so we need to shed our cares and relax, find whatever way we can to do that. And uh, in this process, you know, what I usually do is try and surrender to a flow um, to reach a point of being able to express feelings, I think. <laughs> Expressionism, uh, that's how that came about, that, that, that phrase, you know. Um, what, what else do we want to express but our feelings? And um, it just occurred to me that, you know, uh, this, this may not be kind of rational, um, but there are a lot of our brain activities that are irrational, um, but nonetheless uh, important for that. Um, you know, that, that's, that's putting it mildly. Our kind of aesthetic sense, what we like, what we respond to, beauty, colour. Um, these are very emotional things on the one hand, but they're also very scientific. There are very scientific bases for uh, colour and uh, what, you know, how we perceive it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, really, do I know what's going on here? Not particularly. Um, you know, am I trying to understand? Of course I am. Um, and uh, I just keep going and just keep doing it is the, is the way.